manifesto of the Communist Party. Let's let's take a look at that. And I, what I want to do is to read through this and give commentary. Uh, and uh, just to just to try to help you digest uh, the Communist Manifesto, because there's a lot of things in here that have to do with the particular history uh, around the time that it was written. Now, I've gone a long way in the lectures on the industrial bourgeois revolution and and the other lectures that that's connected to to explain the background. So it should be easier to understand it now after those lectures. And so I just want to read through it and, and, and highlight a few things that fit with the lectures um, that are prior to this in the course. OK, uh, the manifesto of the Communist Party. A specter is haunting Europe, the specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy alliance to exercise this specter. Pope and Tsar, Metternich and Guizot, French radicals and German police spies. Where is the party in opposition that has not been decried as communistic by its opponents in power? Where is the opposition that has not hurled back the branding reproach of, of communism against the more advanced opposition parties, as well as against its reactionary adversaries? Two things revolt from the, result from this fact. One, communism is already acknowledged by all European powers to be itself a power. Two. It is high time that communists should openly, in the face of the whole world, publish their views, their aims, their tendencies, and meet this nursery tale of a specter of communism with a manifesto of the party itself. To this end, communists of various nationalities have assembled in London and sketched the following manifesto to be published in English, French, German, Italian, Flemish, and Danish languages. Okay. So that's the introduction, and uh, then I just want to uh, go through each, sec each section and uh, describe what's going on. I think that introduction speaks for itself.